Alright, hello, it's been a long time since I uploaded a video. Um, so yeah, we're catching up on some quite old clips. I think the first clip is from August, so yeah, it's uh, been been a while since I put a video together. Hopefully you enjoy though, and hopefully I can start doing this more often again so that I can clear out the, uh, I think it's like 14 gig of clips that I have now. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoy. Okay, so I remember that they released this place, right? Oh, Jesus, thought I was a PK. Where you can collect wines of Zamorak here, and apparently they respawn faster. Um, but I was looking it up, because I remembered that it was a thing. Uh, oh my god, that respawns fast. Um, but I couldn't find any videos of people talking about it. I don't know if I was just looking in the wrong place. Right, I don't do much stuff in the wilderness, so... Oh, hang on, I could get a legend cape. That would be a nice little bit of extra defense. I only have one, so let's not die. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be enough stuff to try and keep me alive. Uh, if I do start getting PK'd, hopefully the plan is just to log out. But obviously there's not, there's not no guarantee of that. So yeah, let's go see if I can collect myself 100 of these. Because if I can collect these with the speed that they were respawning there... I think it wouldn't actually take me that long, or at least it'll be significantly quicker than doing it anywhere else, and uh, if I can collect enough Zami Wines to get that stack of Dwarf Weed Potions out of my bank, uh, I am gonna do it. So I didn't actually record a clip, I don't know why, but I did get the 100 Zami Wines, there was no PKs or anything, but I didn't go back because I can't be bothered, it's so boring. Thank you. Uh... I could go smash out some Anku. It's a bit of free ranged XP, really. Also, I just realized that I went through the entirety of the um, Hydra task and I didn't get any Brimstone keys. I don't know if you can't get Brimstone keys from Hydra, but I'd imagine you could have. So, either it's. Uh, I just. It's not as. Off, uh, not as common as of a drop as I thought it was, or I got really unlucky with that, but hey, I got my ring, I ain't gonna complain about the drops I got from Hydra, dude. Uh, I also just forgot how Konar Slayer works, and forgot that I needed to do this in the stronghold, uh, stronghold of security. Oh well, that task was real easy, I literally just went to the toilet and came back and it was done. So, what's what we got? Uh, yes, how about no? Actually, no, that's something I can cannon and use up my cannonballs. Oh, hang on. I might look into the method where you can save spot them and just have it in multi-combat and it absolutely just rinses them. Here we go. Uh, in case any of you haven't seen this before, this is how uh, best to do Black Demon tasks. Well, I say best to do. You know what I mean. It's it's pretty good ranged XP. It's pretty good Slayer XP. Uh, yeah, you count as being in multi-combat, so... Uh, your cannon destroys all of them, and you can't actually get attacked because this guy is blocking them all, and this guy can't get to you. Alright, so I just ran out of cannonballs, and as you can see, I've got 30 left, so I did about 100 kills, and I got about 50 or 60k ranged XP, which is, yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, so I've been trying out Zolcano since they, they buffed it now, also... This Mr. Iron Josh Hart down here has got about 1200 Zolcano KC, and apparently he's banked about 6 million smithing XP, and that is the reason why I am here. Alright, I'm done for the night. I got 11 kills, got myself up to 50 KC, and I was just looking at this, and I just realized, and apparently I've been going for about an hour. I'm not sure how accurate this is, to be honest with you, but I've got 1.7 mil. I used very little in terms of supplies. This place is like really good money. But yeah, I just like I, ju I was just wanted to uh, do some maths real quick because I'm curious. How much smithing XP did I just bank? I'm actually going to take these out because nah, I may as well leave them in. I'm going to see how much smithing XP I just banked if I make all of these bars and then all of them into um dart tips because I'm curious. Like this is in one hour and I want to see how much I banked. Okay, so apparently it's only 125k XP. I thought it was a bit more. But hey, that's still pretty good. And, like, buying gold ore from the guy in, kill in the Blast Furnace? A lot quicker. A lot less fun. <laughs> Hello, and look where I am. I am at Tithe. Um, oh, hello. 
I was about to say, you may be wondering why I'm here, considering I have the full farmer's outfit. But that is because I just went upstairs and talked to the lady up there with my Zami shield on. And I can now buy Beloga's Blessings. Uh, it costs one to get ten of them. And after doing a bit of research on the wiki, apparently every grape seed will get you at least five um, grapes. So it comes out to be uh, two points or about 2.5 points to get yourself five Zami wines. Uh, but yeah, I would like to try and get myself both of these, and then I might get myself some blessings and grape seeds. I might actually grab myself some grape seeds now, and then go plant them and give it a shot. Yeah, you know what? I'll do that. I think it's 12 that you need. But yeah, I I started wanting to try this because it seems like it's something that they updated recently, because it was never done, and I still don't see anyone talking about it. And even just looking on the wiki for the uses of saltpeter, it doesn't mention that you need saltpeter to plant grapes. I think people just never think about the fact that you can plant grapes, and a lot of people probably don't even know that you can. Uh, so I kind of want to just see if it's worth doing, because uh, either way, I'm gonna. It's all it's gonna do is get me 99. Oh no, it doesn't stack. I thought it stacked. Oh dear. All right, uh, I've just completed two games of Tithe Farm and have done all of that, and according to uh, oh well, according to this I've been going for about 50 or so minutes and apparently according to Runelight they have grown so let's go see. So let's see how this goes. I've got my Beloga's blessings on me. I think you get like 600 and something EXP. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's see how many Zami grapes do we get. Alright, so there we are, that is all of them collected, and that's 160 something? 163 Zami grapes. Quick editor's note, because I didn't actually record a clip saying this, but the success rate of making the wines isn't 100%, uh, so it's really it's about 100 wines an hour, which probably isn't worth it, especially means it uses up all your points from tithe, so you can't even get the rewards from there. But yeah, it's not really worth Let's, let's go, boys. <laughs> yeah. No, you know, farming. Nice. Pretty cool. <laughs> I know, I, like, also, shout out to this guy. I met him at Zolcano the other day, and uh, he's he's pretty cool. This, this, I think this is like the first 99 party I've had, and that's that's pretty, that's pretty cool. But yeah, 99 farming. Need to need to grab money. <laughs> Ask about the skill cape of farming. Can I buy a skill cape? Of course you can. Sure. Oof, boys. Boys, where's where's this do the emote? <laughs> oh, I like this so much, dude. <laughs> All right, boys. Uh, so I had to, I got that as a contract earlier today. Obviously, I've had that as a contract. I've had all three of those as a contract. I just had the Celestras as a contact uh, contract. I've had to do that. So I literally have two patches left until I, uh, until I start lagging. I have two patches left until I get the home run of a uh, contract. And I just wanted to uh, see, are we going to get, get it? Celebrate the 99 farming with a home run. Let's go palm. I've been asked for a palm tree so many times today. Please. Potato cacti. No, so close. I just had that one as well. Oh, sad, sad times, sad times. Oof, a long bone. Anyway, that is not what this clip is about. This clip, as you may see in the top right of the screen, is that I'm getting uh, relatively close to 99 ranged. I am 99.6% of the way there. 
Yeah, I may have started recording a little bit early, but that's just because I wanted to get the long bone in as well. Yeah, I'm hoping for a nice little reward for 99 ranged. You never know, shamans. You are. Uh, it might be nice. You've got 1.5k XP to go, so you got still got a bit of time. Still like three or four, three or four kills. All right, 800 XP to go. So in, during the next kill, I'll be getting. Getting it, so let's chuck on rigor, make this go a little bit quicker, and let's get the uh, get the dragon warhammer, because it's obviously gonna happen. Gonna get 99 way before the end of the kill though. And here it comes. One more hit. Oh, is, is it gonna be on the kill? It's gonna be on the kill. Right. Okay. If I don't get, oh, if I got the dragon warhammer there, dude. That would have been so cool, but yeah, there is 99 ranged. I almost said prayer. I wish it was prayer, dude. I've been watching too much for Toso. Uh, but yeah. 99 ranged. Sweet. Right, I might be network lagging a little bit, but I stayed at the Shamans for a little bit just to get myself some more cash, because now I can come straight to here. Here is... Ranging cape trimmed. I can buy myself two of these because I just like having two. But yeah, I have my ranged cape as well now. Uh, it's such it's a, it's such a strange combination of orange and green, but it looks so good. And yeah, I'm glad to have this. Right, let's get over to the bank because there is something that I need to do. Vorkath's head. I'm fairly sure you only need to use this on one cape. Sure you want to infuse infuse the power of your Vorkath's head with, into your ranging cape. Now, the question is, do these stack? They do. Cool. Uh, I didn't know if it only worked for one of them, but I guess that it doesn't. In the sense that you currently don't want it to accumulate your random metal items. Correct. But yeah, so now this will have the uh, ammo recovery rate of a Accumulator assembler, what's it called? Assembler, but it just doesn't have the ranged bonus or the strength bonus. So, yeah, depending on the situation, sometimes you might want that little bit of strength bonus or the range bonus. Sometimes you might want the defense and the prayer, but they have the same recovery rate. Whereas before the update, where you could put the Vorkat head in there, it was always the uh, assem accumulator. Uh, return rate, which obviously isn't as good. But yeah, that is my second 99 today, and probably the second 99 in the video, depending on how this comes out. And that's a really nice feeling. 2023 total? Pretty cool. Oh, also, my total level may have been more in my 99 by making clip, but that is because I had virtual total levels on. So, my 101 like HP was leveling that up and I don't want that.